three, two. Mic check, one, two. <clears throat> Can I get a mic check from Randy real quick? Mic check, mic check, mic check, three, uh, mic check, three, four. How do you, and how do you mic check sound? I can't, I can't hear myself at all. Can't hear yourself. We're going to fix that real quick as soon as we bring the people on. Hello. Hello. How is everybody doing today? It Good. is another episode of Cruising Good. the Planet. Wait, do it. Another episode of Cruising the Planet, that, guys. That's better. Um, so loud. <laughs> Wait, that's loud. <clears throat> today is a different type of episode oh, no. because today we're doing short debates. And these short <laughs> debates are very controversial, such as, the, as does pineapple belong on pizza, which is one of the questions of the day. Oh, yeah. um, but before we get into that, how are we feeling today? Today's a good day, man. It's, it's a good, good day. day. It's a good day. Yeah, it's, it's a little bittersweet for me. Bittersweet. I, um, Someday. Second to less cruising. I got a, I got a package in today. It's it's uh, my graduation outfit for next week. Nice. Congratulations. Aww. That's awesome. What about you, Jess? It's good. It's good. Yep. It's good. It's good. I won't lie. I woke up thirty minutes ago, so we we're still waking hey, up. But let's go. Let's Honestly, get, this is a perfect way to wake it up. That's this a vibe. Is, that's this a is a vibe. perfect way to wake it up with these, with these short debates. Let's just get into the first. Well, first thing, one that I my, said, my last episode of, of this. R. It's R. your Randon. last episode. My last episode. Yeah. Well, the first question, yeah. Randon, is: Does pineapple belong on pizza? I I mean, if, if you really think about it, anything can go on pizza. It's all up to personal opinions but i i'm not gonna lie i like pineapple on pizza everyone i have to be in the mood though i like it it's not a bad thing it's not bad okay i like not pineapple bad. on pizza too but it's not bad. They, no, can't, they have to be I, thinner chunks they can't be these no, big. it can't yeah, be like but it can't be like those round like, that, that goes for like any topping i feel yeah. on pizza you want like bite-sized it's almost like you know like chopped salad instead of like normal salad like, yeah. we just want bite-sized pieces sure. i agree with that i i really actually agree with brandon i think pineapple like hawaiian pizza honestly i really really like hawaiian pizza but it's not like my top choice for pizza yeah i do have to be like craving it to order it for sure for sure agreed oh yeah you like it jesse too yeah it's good S sweet nice well i guess we all agree with that one <clears throat> um, we need a bait here artichokes don't belong pizza though i'll tell you that I've what are even artichokes are those they're like little that? fishies what no that's anchovies, anchovies. Uh, my bad anchovies <laughs> I, I was thinking the same thing too, Travis. You're not. You're not I alone. I like artichoke in pasta. Have you ever had artichoke dip? Yeah. It just tastes like pickles, in my opinion. Like I no, I don't, I disagree. So, I, so an I artichoke like pickle, is like a vegetable. I don't like pickles. Yeah, it's like yeah. I love pickles. Yeah, they're so they kind of look like pine cones, in mm. my opinion. But they're like green. It, they're strange. I like them. Do y'all like cereal? Yes, mm. some cereal. I love cereal. I love cereal. Kind of iffy on cereal. But I'll be very iffy on you if you answer this question wrong. The question is, is it milk before the cereal or cereal before the milk? Milk. No, I'm just kidding. It's cereal cereal first. and then milk. The only time you should be putting in milk before cereal is if you are getting a second bowl. This is true. Okay. Because then the milk. But is then just again, like you have to drink the milk down. You can't just leave the milk. You're gonna milk drink it anyway. I know, but yeah. you drink the milk down. So that way you're just not pouring okay, cereal into I, a bowl full of milk. While we're, while we're talking about this, just as a little side note, can I say something really heinous? I uh, no. guess so. What does sometimes that mean? when I am eating cereal, because I always drink coffee in the mornings, and sometimes, I'll, most of the time, I'll do no, iced coffee. No, you don't eat cereal with no, coffee. No, but sometimes no. I'll do like hot coffee, because there really is just nothing like holding a little ceramic cup and pretending like you are on vacation by holding a little ceramic cup full of hot coffee. Um, and I will eat the cereal first. And then all that cereal milk is the milk I will use for my coffee. Interesting. That is saving money. That is doesn't sound bad. I thought you were going to say it, that you pour a cereal yeah. in your coffee. I was like, no, oh that my. would because, be like especially criminal. with cinnamon toast crunch, the cinnamon milk. Yeah, because mm. it, it's 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 basically like or like that like a chocolate milk? creamer, but it's like, just like cereal cocoa pebbles milk. or something. Yes. Puffs, yeah. yeah, cocoa puffs. Yeah. Okay. Cool. 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 Next question. Reese's puffs. Reese's puffs. Should ketchup be stored in the fridge or the pantry? I dislike ketchup in the fridge. I think I I, I do it in the fridge. I then, then why do restaurants just leave it out in the like outside? because because on crazy. the label it, it, it says if you refrigerate it keep refrigerated if if you don't ref keep it refrigerated it's gonna okay, be bad. Okay, well that what? is a similar thing to soy sauce because like Kikomans like says refrigerate after opening, but like if you go to like cultures that primarily use soy sauce in like everything, they're not refrigerating soy I sauce. Feel like I think it just makes it different. last longer. Yeah, more okay. fresh, I guess. Yeah. But because I hate ketchup. The smell of it makes me nauseous. 
Mm. I love ketchup. I'll get yeah. you some ketchup as a parting gift. You need Thank the ketchup. You, like bougie ketchup. Give you Whataburger spicy. Is it accepted to wear socks with sandals? It Nowadays, depends. Yeah. On this, like, if it's cold and you want to wear like sandals or something. But who's wearing sandals if when it's cold? cold outside? Don't wear Me? sandals. You wear Me? sandals when it's cold. When I don't want to put actual shoes on. What is wrong with yeah. you? When it's like twenty degrees outside, you're just gonna let your toes out. Yeah, I'll put some fuzzy socks nah, on. Uh, It'll be all right. Okay, as long as you have fuzzy socks. What's going on, Reagan? How are you no, doing today? No, no way. No, 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 What's up, babe? No, no, no. Um, one, I was going to say. Yeah. Um, so my, my stance on this is, you know, it, you can't wear sandals with socks if it's the one, the flip-flop version. With the, with the toe? Oh, yeah, that's you the can't, toe. You can't have a toe, a toe being formed within your socks. Okay, yeah, but who's wearing those anymore? Dude, you'll Do see it. Do they even sell them I anymore? saw a guy wearing, like... Flip flops with socks. There's a lot of people, especially these country folks, and they're chilling, bro. What are you trying to say, man? I'm just saying, <laughs> man. Your folks need to, need to chill out. That's funny. But, I don't uh, identify with the okay, redneck. No, part. I I take it back. I think the only time it's acceptable, and I don't know if these technically count as sandals, but like sliders, like Slides? when you're yeah. yeah, like when you're in athletics or like doing something like a sport, and you're you have like cleats or like gym shoes that are like you can only wear like on a basketball court yeah um i say this from a place of experience because i had a lot of these specialty shows shoes like for sports that were really expensive that i was only either aware to wear like on the field or on the court like those basketball shoes did not step off of the court if they were not on the court they were in a protected bag that is the only time it is acceptable to wear sa- like socks and like a slide on shoe sandals with socks with basketball yeah it's definitely I acceptable hope you trip and fall on your socks face, with then. basketball Mm-hmm. I think it's Sorry, acceptable. What? I think it's acceptable when you have like nice socks, like really cool socks. I'm saying like designer yeah. socks. Like, when uh, your sock like game's strong. Socks? What are designer socks? Like um, Gucci socks. Just like socks. When I say designer socks, like, I mean like, like socks cool, that have cool, really cool designs on them. I have socks with tacos socks. on them. As those oh, are cool. Like, like yeah. wear those. Like yeah, those are the only type of socks I wear. Uh, Reagan thinks Kelly's weird for the whole coffee mug thing with cereal. <laughs> <laughs> it's creamer, but it's like homemade idea. creamer. No, it's not. What it. about this? What about this? I'm not defending myself any further. Crunchy or smooth peanut butter? It depends on my mood. It does. Man, y'all suck. Wait, wait. What was it? Crunchy or like smooth peanut butter? You can answer this too, Reagan. Ugh, peanut butter. You what? Don't like peanut, you don't like peanut butter? butter? Sorry, I like Reese's, but that's. I it. I kind of have to be in the mood for peanut butter, regardless. But if you had a sand- peanut butter sandwich, but would you? Would it say it? say you were in the mood? Well, okay. It's it it one or the other. It, because I'm gonna say I'm gonna say something else. Heinous, you guys know like grilled cheese sandwiches. Yep, love put them. peanut butter and grilled me. cheese. No, not oh cheese. Gosh, I will Kelly. make a peanut butter and jelly, and then I will basically do the same thing that you would do to a grilled cheese. You Just know, warm it up. Little butter on the bread in a pan. That sounds honestly that, that kind of fire. Sound bad. It is really good, but like crunchy peanut butter doesn't work for it because you kind of want to get it a little bit like melty, a little runny, because that's when it's really good. But if you want that I, crunch, though, like I will <laughs> say, I did uh, used to microwave the Uncrustables. Yeah, when me I was too. A kid. Me too. Yeah. It was so hot though; the and jelly then you, got like, too hot. You burn yourself with the yeah, jelly. the jelly. But like that was the inspiration <laughs> for it. But like it just doesn't work with crunchy peanut butter. But if I'm especially because then the bread is getting crunchy, and then you just have like too much crunch in there. But if you're just doing like a normal peanut butter and jelly. Normal, all yeah. normal peanut butter all the way. I also do enjoy like flavored cashew butters. I've never had that. I've always had a it. cashew butter. They have one at H E B. It's actually it's really expensive, but it's like a cinnamon chai cashew mm. butter. Kind of fire. It is so good. Like, it goes I so like a replacement well. for peanut butter or what? Yeah, yeah. It's it's like almond butter, like cashew butter, to like and peanuts. it goes so it goes so well with like apple jam. Yeah, it's kind Ooh. of insane. Or See, like an orange jelly. Oh, it's so good. I'm on a I'm on the same side as side as Reagan here. She says she likes smooth, oh, and she I thinks think, crunchy is yeah. too much. Crunchy is cool, but like I like smooth. I will say, too. I think like the Jif peanut good butter. Choice, it, there's too much of the peanuts in there to make it crunchy. Yeah, it, they could do with like significantly less. For sure, for yeah, sure. Yeah. All right, next let's one. find the next, next question. Next one. The one we've all been waiting for is hot dog a sandwich. What no. are the? Is it a sandwich or is it, or is the question just is it a sandwich? Is a hot dog a sandwich? No. Well, what's the definition of a sandwich? We can Google the definition well, of a like sandwich. Googling the definition yeah, Google the definition of a sandwich because my definition of a sandwich is two pieces of bread with a meat in the middle. But filling. it's not two pieces; it's one piece. But sometimes so the hot dog bun will break. Aren't sandwiches to you? So what's a sub sandwich? You know, like oh, when they take, like when you go to like Subway or like Jimmy Ellie? John's and you get like, if they <laughs> have that loaf of bread and they slice it down the they middle. Slice it, mm. Yeah. Okay. Because right. then the pieces are still connected. Listen, listen. 
an item of food consisting of two pieces of bread with meat, cheese, or other filling between eaten as a light meal. Hot dog right there. I think I it's know. a hot dog. I think a hot dog is a sandwich. Because, because if you think about it, it's two pieces of bread that are connected to each other. They don't mm. make them. What is... What are pieces of bread if not one loaf that has just been arbitrarily cut? That makes it a loaf of bread with a bunch of pieces. What the heck? Yep. yep. So that, that means yep. it's, Sorry. it's a sandwich. But yeah, I mean, like, there is the argument that you said that it's a taco. It's not a taco. Yeah, a taco's it, a sandwich too. I, I agree no, that it's, no, it's a taco. No, it's not a sandwich. A taco, taco is a taco. Is a, no, a wrap. tacos can't be sandwiches because the tortilla is not bread. It's not bread. It's like And the dough. definition of sandwich it's includes tortilla. bread. <sighs> Okay, I'm wrong. You are <laughs> Ravioli, wrong. Ravioli, on the other hand. Oh, That's wait a minute. <laughs> That's turn no, you, no, no. Who's laughing like like a, like a horse? <laughs> Let me turn you all down. Oh, sorry. Scott. Scott. All right, we're good. We're good. Um, the next question is water wet. This is, a, this is an old question, you know. Everyone's oh, asked this. No. And, it's not? Water makes no. it Why? Well, okay, think about it. No, no. Think about it like this. Fire. Okay. Fire is not on fire. It puts other, it, like it makes other things it be is on fire. fire. Right? Like it is fire. Okay. But water fire is water. not wet because it, like it's just not. The individual water molecules, they're not wet. The interaction of the water molecules touching other things makes them but wet. But each water molecule is touching each other. Yes, that's true. But they're the same. It's a liquid, water though. It's a wet. state of matter, so they're like coming together. Yeah, but uh, the thing is, if, is if, that if I water my finger, guys, if I have water in my finger and I go like this, he's now wet. Yes, because the act of the water touching something else makes it wet. Exactly. But the water Whenever is, water but touches the water, water it makes it wet. wet. Whenever water touches other water. No, the water it now becomes wet. together. It's automatically wet. It becomes one entity the only, the because only it's a way, liquid. The state of matter the only is liquid. Way they water, fill containers. They come together to make one big thing. The only water would not be wet is if there was one singular water molecule. Then it would just be water. It wouldn't be wet. Yeah, the argument I heard was the same thing as Kelly's about the fire, which I can definitely agree on. So uh, for me, water's not wet, but it's always fun to argue that it is wet. I'm just... <clears throat> I don't have a side. This is honestly a, it's a dumb argument. I just like I to disagree. Me too. Like what about you, Jess? Sharian. Water is wet. Thank oh, you. Uh, okay. <clears throat> water is wet. Thank you. Water is not wet. Water okay, is wet. Okay, this boys. is a big Learn one. Science. This is a big one for the boys and girls out there. When you're using the restroom, guys, do you are you supposed to when you're done lift the toilet seat up or leave it down? Why would you lift it up? Because like, you don't like, want a girl to fall in the toilet and not know that. But if you lift it up, a girl's going to fall in. No, put it down. Because then you get yelled at. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Do you know how many times I've been yelled at by my mother and my girlfriend by because I didn't put down the toilet seat? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say is like when I was like, I got yelled at for that too. I had to, you had to put the toilet seat down. Put down the toilet seat. No, yeah. I heard that all the time. This is like a debate people have. I yeah. That was just yeah. common courtesy. Yeah, I didn't know that was like Because like you're the one. Who well, is like raising it up. Why I mean, would only you way not leave I the don't, space as you well, found I don't it? put the toilet seat down because I live by myself. Well, okay, think, well that's different. Uh, I was raised in, in, in a house full of dudes, so like we never thought of that, you know. Uh, so, yeah, I guess that makes sense. See, I lived I mean, with my so, mom and my sister. So I was like, and then we always just like if people were coming over, obviously we had like male guests, but like, and now I live with like my dad and my brother-in-law, like w and everything like that, and it's it's never been an issue. Like that's never even been something I've noticed because so, they always just put it down because like they're the ones who are lifting it up. Leave a space how you found it. Yeah, um, I got you. So the only way a boy would put a toilet seat down is you have to poop. So you poop, put the toilet seat down, and then when you're done, you lift it back up. Is that what you do? What the argument is? No, I leave it no. down so that pe the so no one like because look, there is this. Uh, there's even if this, you only live with guys or by yourself. If there's a girl around, you're supposed to put it down so they don't fall on the toilet. And they don't realize, like, Sometimes oh, I try to make them fall on the toilet. I oh, almost really? did, How's like, last about night. That? I've never really done bad. that to her yet. What'd she say? Let me see. I can't read that. I mean, I gotta go to the clue. He said, because if he doesn't, then I had to touch the dirty toilet seat because yeah. you were the one that needed to lift up and go. <laughs> yeah, because you're gonna wash your hands. Get better, right? Anyways, but, like... I've almost, I'll be. I'll admit I've almost sat on a toilet without it being down. It's scary. I have, scary. I you my, see your my, life flash before your eyes. My booty like splashed the toilet. Water. <laughs> oh. 
It was funny. Anyway. That's gross. Probably. Sorry. Too much. Anyway. <laughs> next, <laughs> next one. Anyway. Let's go on. Next one. <clears throat> next one. The next question. Would you rather fight one horse-sized duck or a hundred duck-sized horses? One horse-sized duck. Horse that was, duck. Duck that would be horses. an epic battle. You just I would take be able bat. to ride that horse. I wouldn't battle. I would you tame just play it. Play golf. I would tame no. it and fly it around. Do you know how mean mini horses are? Okay, these are like mini horses. Them. These are like duck size, shrunken horses. Like, and like duck. Like how ducks small are like this do you big. think a duck is? Ducks, ducks are like big, this though. Big. Yeah, I mean, ducks, ducks big. are like the size ducks of a like chicken. This big, right? I have my ducks are pretty big, but really? like horses are gigantic. And yeah, I feel like a duck coming at you, flapping its wings. It's that's scary. Fine. It would be Have terrifying. You ever had a duck coming at you, come at you. I've had a chicken come at me. That's I, different. Uh, I know it's different, but like words. I, it like jumped up and was like. Chickens can't fly. Ducks can fly. No, yeah. chickens can fly. Wait, ducks can fly. I thought they just kind of like glide. Yeah, down. they can fly. Yeah. They Why do you think duck hunting is? What do you think duck hunting is? Hunting is. They're ducks sky. can fly. Is that what you asked? Shooting them. Ducks migrate. Ducks migrate. Yes. Yeah. That's why. That's why you see them in the V's all the time. That, those, those are, are geese. ducks. Those are ducks too. Yeah, those are ducks, dude. Ducks and geese do that. I've never seen ducks migrate. I've seen oh, geese I do that. Migrate. I've seen that. You, you do that. Texas and Louisiana. You be migrate. I, I migrate too. <laughs> okay. I'm actually I want, leaving I tomorrow. Want, no, no, no. I that's wanna, why I'm uh, not going to be here next week. I, I want migrating. to be like clear on this. I think it was only about like in the past year and a half that I learned that there were different breeds of chicken. And, like, these are kind of insane things for me to not know. But I want to preface this by saying I grew up in the suburbs of Chicago. I would have no reason to know any of this. I mean, that makes sense. I would have no proximity to any of this. Go eat your soda pop or I mean, I mean, if you think about it, I mean, <laughs> I guess you can see planes and you'd be like, oh, the plane is my grave. Oh. Is Fago no. a big thing where you live? Fago soda pop? Where are you flying on? Oh, she said no. I can't talk about Fago. It's oh. like 60 milligrams of sugar. Oh, 60 grams. Fago is single-handedly the worst brand of pop, and it's not even... Of what? It's not even, like, contestable. Fago is awful. Then why does Texas love it, like, when, like, when they want it so bad? It's... Is they it like, like the idea of it. it can? It's just... It's yeah. so artificial. It's So insane. sugary. 60, but the, the cotton candy one's so good. It's just taste it's like, sugar straight up. We should have a Fago tasting, like... Please don't. Please don't. Okay, Kelly's like, I, I won't be here for that one. Kelly's like, I won't be here for that one. You want to try it? There's so I, I many. I okay, cool. No, you got to try the grape one. It's let me let me, let me guest star on the, let me guest star on the podcast when you want to do that. There, there's a but, blue one too. I want to say it's blue raspberry. I can't remember. Cod candy is blue. Oh, is it cod? I think I was mixing that up with big blue. There might be double. Yeah. There might be another blue one. No, though. side note. I had a blueberry figo. I had a friend who was visiting last January, and he's from out of state. And so um, it was like me, one other friend who's like from the Dallas area. And we were kind of like showing him around some of the areas around here. And we were we were in immediate agreement that we had to take him to Bucky's because nice. that's an experience. Yes, it is. Like, Great experience. In, in, in the South, in Texas in general, that's an experience. And we had him buy two things at Bucky's that he absolutely needed to try. One were the beaver like nuggets. Yep. Yeah. One was the beaver nuggets. I think he's been like 15 or maybe it was a little bit less. Those aren't as good as they used and to then be. we had him try a big red. He never had a big red. Big red and big blue are like only in Texas. That's oh, like really? a Texas really? thing. Or big, I, big peach too. Yeah, like that entire brand is just so good. And I I never heard of them until I moved here and everything. But it's insane. And he opens it up and he tries this. But first of all, he's looking at it. He's like, "What is this supposed to be?" I was like, "Just try it." He was like, "What is this color?" I was like, "Just try it." He was red like, "What are you having me yeah. do? Am I going to die?" I, and I was like, "You're gonna be fine. That's, you might get diabetes, little, but you'll um, be fine." Excessive. Um, and he tries it, and he hated it. He was like, "What is this? It's just what soda. flavor is that?" He, I was like, "It's bubble gum. Cream. It's based was like, off it's, like bubble gum was, or cotton candy it's, or something." It's bubble gum, and then Big Blue is cotton candy. Oh, it is. Candy. I thought it was yeah. like oh, I really? thought they were the same. Tastes the same. No, no, they're different. Um. I did not get but, bubble gum and cotton candy from either of those. Things. Yeah, it's, 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 it's doesn't taste it's like it. It's bubble. It's bubble gum, um, cream soda, pretty much. And he hated it. And he hated the beaver <laughs> nuggets too, which I don't blame him. I just like the beaver nuggets as well. But <laughs> Reagan said that big red sitting right right next to you. What do you mean? Nah. Big red right here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Next one. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, the next question is. Oh, we actually all never answered y'all's questions. You did. What? Uh, what? The you will fight the horses size ducks. Oh yeah, yeah. You'd oh, I'd fight. fight. I'd fight a. No, I, I said duck size horses. Okay. A hundred duck size horses, because you just take a bat and then you just play golf. No. 
stuck. Okay. Yeah, he will play. Like that are scary. He can play soccer. Okay. Um, the next question is: Is tomato a fruit or vegetable? It's fruit. a fruit. It's a fruit. It's a fruit. It's it's a fruit. fruit. There are specific Next. classifications of these things, and hear me out on this. Vegetables do not have seeds in them. That's it. Like, that's the difference. Like, that's the main difference, right? So when you're looking at something, like, if you're looking at a thing of produce and you're questioning, hey, is this a fruit? Is this a vegetable? If it has seeds anywhere on the outside or on the inside of it, it's a fruit. Well, what Cucumbers about... are also fruits. Whoa. What about, uh, what's that, like, okra? Okra. Okra. I'm not familiar with Because okra, don't they have seeds in them? There's a fruit. Um, They do. I thought they did. I don't know. Hang on. I don't know. I don't actually know much about okra. okra. Hold please. Fried big okra. Red, big red slushy is so good. From like, uh, like the guy QT. I love QT, bro. You have QTs up north? Yeah. Or oh, wait, I'm not up north. Just kidding. Don't know why. So good. <clears throat> we have like QTs and Bucky's. It is everywhere. a fruit. Okra is okay. A fruit. There you go. Yeah. Um, but yeah, if it if it has the seeds, it's a fruit, which makes a lot of things really weird. I know squashes are different because they're not they're they're a root. Vegetable. First off, who eats that? I think I like squash. No, um, <laughs> but they're they're a different genus that's not really fruit or vegetable. I'm pretty sure I it's could be wrong about that. Yeah. It okay. Might be. Do, okay. Actually, I know a lot about Next. the classifications of fruits. So can I just like say like two things really really fast? No comment. Yeah, Reagan said that vegetables have seeds too because technically they don't grow from nothing. Think about that. Uh, like, uh, yeah, but it's not on the like flowering yes, I get part. You, I get it, you mean. It's not on the like because like technically it's like the actual like produce that's growing part of it. It's I believe most of them they're either like on top and aren't part of the thing that's like harvested for like sale in grocery stores or it's part of the leaf part it's been a yeah. lot i once went down on the whole like rabbit hole for i, I believe it was one of my biology classes uh, my freshman year i had to do this and it's been a long time and i could be totally remembering a lot of this wrong but the parts of the vegetable that you're going to be eating that you're going to be buying at stores generally like don't have the seeds and i did misspeak she is totally right about that because like they don't grow from nothing. She's so right about that. <laughs> so how do what how does broccoli grow? Um, broccoli is a part of a plant that was specially cultivated. That um, it's like six different things come off of the plant, um, including kale comes from the same plant as does broccoli. Does cauliflower come off kale. it too? I believe so. I could be mm. wrong. I also think coriander comes from it. Oh, you know what that this is. This is something that coriander. I learned in like a science class in high school, and I could be remembering. The specifics wrong but broccoli is one of the parts of a plant that is harvested for like a couple different things and i'm pretty sure one of the other things is kale could be wrong um but uh, bananas and pomegranates are berries no more pomegranates. okay <laughs> they are berries i had an irrational fear of pomegranates when i was in uh middle school uh don't ask why please and uh there is a lot of classifications of fruit, but there is one classification that only applies to two different fruits, which are pears and apples, and it is known as pome fruits. It's Jake, yeah. Yeah, where is Nomad? Pome he's, fruits. he's a hater now. He doesn't. I'm listening, Kelly. Yeah. Sweet. Next one. Uh, the next question is: Are movies better at home or in the theaters? Theaters. 100%. Theaters. Big screen, mm. better sound quality, better speakers. You know you have to pay. I think it depends on the experience you're wanting out of a film. Yeah, I could see that. I think if you're wanting to see something that's like new and you want, you know, overall just kind of like the best rounded experience in the theaters. But if you're just looking to have like fun with your friends at home all the way, because then you guys can actually like joke around about the movie and like get comfortable and you do, can't, yeah, like you what can't. works for you guys to have fun. So yeah. like I watched the Five Nights at Freddy's movie with my friends. I don't think I would have enjoyed the experience as much if I had been in the theaters because we were yeah. able to like get comfortable, you know, talk and like loudly. talk and like make jokes during it. And that elevated the experience of enjoyment for me personally. Yeah. So I think it kind of like, I, I agree overall that like you're going to get, a better movie watching experience in the theaters 100 percent. but if you're wanting like talking from an enjoyment perspective it just depends on what you want from the film yeah, there were a bunch of little kids i can agree with that talking in oh my gosh is that the bite of 87 can we talk for a <laughs> Wait, second you about how people have absolutely <laughs> lost so much theater etiquette since 2020 it's bad. and like concert etiquette it's so it's bad it bugs me because they didn't they weren't around people 
for like a year and a half. Yeah, so. I I went and saw the new Hunger Games movie in theaters a couple weeks back with a friend opening weekend, and they were like two separate people in the theater who just like had their phone out like full brightness. I was like, are you kidding? She goes like one Reagan. in Stevenville. She always has her phone on my. One in Stevenville is so hey, Reagan. The <laughs> one the theater in Stevenville smells like a public restroom. Because it is. It is. This People is probably just pee everywhere. I've never there. seen a movie theater that small. I went to go see the Stevenville. Um, what do you expect? The movie about the Robinson family. Meet the Robinsons? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> I would think the same thing too. You were like, uh-huh. yeah. No. <laughs> All right. Next question. Yes. The next question is. Brush your teeth before or after breakfast? After. 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 Before or after? Yeah. After. Okay. We can all agree with that. There's after you eat. You hear that, Reagan? It's common sense. It's common after. Sense. after. Is double dipping acceptable? If you're with someone that you know, yes. Yeah, if you're with strangers, like weird. no. It depends. <laughs> I totally agree with Randon. If you're doing it with strangers, you're weird. No, still with people I love. Nah, bro. That's mine. But no, like, I double dip also, after you, Travis. It also depends on the other person. <laughs> It, it totally depends on the other person, right? So, yeah. like, I, me and my sister, we do that kind of stuff all the time. We share drinks. We're both totally fine with that. It's whatever. But, like, my oh, brother-in-law. Well, yeah, but, like, my brother-in-law, it's total no-go that's from him. That's different. He doesn't even like sharing with her. Oh. It just depends on the person. Some people don't like sharing. Some people True, are okay so. with it. So, it kind of depends on that. But if you're doing it with a stranger baseline, it's weird. Yep. I wish my boyfriend yeah. is like that. He steals my stuff. Well, uh, Regan, going back to another question, she said that she brushes her teeth like right when she wakes up. So that's why she doesn't wait for breakfast. Which is still cool. No we do. But then your breakfast tastes like like toothpaste. If you don't wait long. If it's like, if there's time between it and then if you like drink water after it, that's fine. Yeah. But then you have the potential to have like something that's like sitting on your teeth that's going to like be bad for it. Yeah. I try and brush my teeth after every uh, meal that I eat just like for that reason because there's a lot of things like I personally have like a lot of tomatoes and a lot of lemons and things and that's really acidic. That's really bad for your teeth. Yeah. So like if I eat something that's like super acidic. What if I eat just like yeah, I got straight you. acid? Well, I don't think you'd Should have I to worry about teeth? your teeth after Who would a while. Be, pray for your so stomach you eat, after you're that. eating lemons in the morning or limes? Just take a whole cut of lime and lemon. Just <laughs> I used to eat lemons like that. It's so good. But um, it's just bad for your teeth. Eat it like an apple. I, I do that at restaurants. It's really good. You know, apples can actually be, and, and strawberries both. Um, if you're having like something like staining your teeth, they can be good for kind of that removal of something that's like temporary. So if you like ate something that was like covered in like instant coffee or something like that it, that's gonna stain your teeth but then if you eat something that's like harder instant coffee stains your teeth yeah because it'll like the grains will like get on the, it won't it's, it's not a permanent yellow. thing it's okay. just like a, it's like a temporary thing just instant coffee i mean I think normal every coffee, coffie coffee too. Oh, okay stains but your teeth. yeah I like, I like coffee coffee stains your teeth baseline <laughs> but if you're doing something like that um apples and strawberries are really good for like getting those temporary stains like off of your teeth okay word um, and actually, cool. I actually learned that um, through my dentist. Um, I got my teeth whitened in my senior year of high school, um, right before my prom. And um, one of the things they said, because you have to go on a specific diet of like only white foods, like there, ha- there can't be any color on your food for a couple days afterwards because the pores on your teeth are open because your teeth have sandwiches. pores. Um, I, I did no eat a lot of like chicken. Um, I love chicken. Yeah, my family, uh, they, they were really helpful in making some special foods for me. Um, but they had a specific thing in the thing that was like, if you eat something that has like color, eat like an apple or a strawberry or something that's going to be able to kind of like rub against your teeth and remove that temporary color. And apples and strawberries are apparently very good for that, which I thought was very interesting. Cool. Um, does, wait, are you early bird or night owl? Which one's night better? Night owl. Early bird. Early bird. There is... Almost nothing like a slow morning yeah. where you're like not rushed and you just get like some time for yourself. Exactly. It's so nice. And you're mentally there. Yeah. You know, as many times I'm not mentally there, you know, and you and then you miss uh, opportunities when you meet people because you're not you're mentally there, you know, and, and it's so easy to be a night owl. But I don't think it's easy to become an early bird. You know what I mean? Right. It was a choice I had to make for myself. Yeah. Yeah, especially if eight a.m.s, bro. It's better to just wake up earlier instead of waiting last minute to get ready. Wake up at seven thirty. Yeah. No, I'm dead. That's I, what I've been doing, which I need to stop doing. Yeah. I leave my house ten minutes before class starts. Yes, guys. You have to find parking, but that's, that's a dangerous game. That's not. That's easy for me. I literally can just park wherever. Doesn't matter. I haven't gotten a ticket. Yes. Especially this week, I can park in this lot right out here. It's nice. 
Yeah, like you I'm going to take a sticker stuck in my window. But that's, that's terrible. That's a whole other story. Anyway. All right, next question. Oh, one mm-hmm. more. One more, then we're going to switch. Exactly. So I'm going to pick the best, the best one. Mm-hmm. Travis, when he doesn't wear his glasses. Exactly. Uh, cats versus dogs. Who makes the best pet? Cats. Dogs. Dogs. For sure. Dogs I don't know. So First argument. I have both. My dog is. So who who makes the best pet? There's no both. Who is the best pet? Cat. My cat. Okay, then go, Jess. Your argument goes first. My cat's better. My dog poops in my floor. Okay. My cat doesn't. That's all you got. Okay, Kelly, go. <laughs> this is gonna be kind of a generalization, and it's gonna be a really weird reason, but dogs. No, cats. I feel like are very good at like helping, especially children, understand consent, right? Because dogs generally are a lot friendlier they're going to be a lot more open to being like around people um cats can be and oftentimes they will be until they decide at which point they're not and um i I will say that's something that's like my my nephew i've kind of watched him because like dogs are very very friendly they love dogs he loves dogs or (laughs) dogs love him he loves dogs that kind of thing but like he's been around a few cats and not many because he is allergic, um, yeah. which he did get uh, from his father, which I'm going to throttle my brother-in-law because he's the only reason I don't have a cat. Um, and there have been like the first couple times he was interacting with a cat and the cat was like giving him those warnings of like, hey, stop. Because cats do that. Mm-hmm. They like start like hitting at you and everything. Like very softly like, no. Yeah. Like, yeah. And they, it, nah. it did get to a point where one of them like you know, <sighs> kind of lunged with that in that same way cats do when they like bite because like they've been telling you to stop. Yeah. And the first couple times he was interacting with a cat, like he, that kind of caught him by surprise. But then he started learning about it. And like you could tell he was also applying that in the same way to like the way he was interacting with people. And he was only like three or four at the time. Um, and I just feel like they're really good. Um, they're smaller. I feel like they require um, a little bit less maintenance than dogs do. And okay. personally, true. True. I just like them better. Very true. You have some good points there. How about you, Brandon? Um, I, um, this is hard. I like both. Um, I don't really have a choice if I had to choose one. Choose one. I'd choose a dog. No reason at all. All right. Here's my Just here's my argument. Lives. That's valid. I love cats so much, and I like dogs. I like cats more than dogs, but I'd rather prefer to have a dog because a dog is going to be more loyal to you than a cat will if you're in a if you're in a bad situation someone breaks in the house or whatever the cat's going to run the fuck away oh excuse my language <laughs> the cat's going to run away while the dog is going to hopefully try. nah my dog will well, first off it matters what type of dog it is right if it's chihuahua i'm picking the cat <laughs> Hey, you got something no, against I chihuahuas? Think... I love chihuahuas. My though. little doggies have no, chihuahuas. It's those small dogs that are vicious. That, that's that's that true. Is true. But if you have a trained dog, like that dog's gonna love you forever. He's gonna die. When you die, he's gonna sit right next to your your uh, what's it called? I it's gonna sense death. It's gonna it's gonna feel bad. It's gonna it's gonna dogs miss can hunt you. For you. I don't Cats want that, can't hunt though. for you. Like, yes, if, they if, can. I, if someone's breaking into my home, I would rather my pet run away and not get hurt in the crossfire this or anything like that. If I'm inevitably doomed by this thing, I'm gonna get hurt, whatever. I'd rather my animal get away. No, the, but and the, like the dog supposed is to like, protect you. That's yeah. the point of having one. They're supposed no, to protect you. No, if they're a companion. Yeah, but the thing is, what if they're you're co- their companion then like, whenever you need it? Listen, your, your dog is literally your dog. That's my dog. You know, that's my, that's my brother. Like that's, that's my, my dog. dog. Yeah, that's my. And a dog is so cool because a dog, when you die, it's gonna, it'll, it's gonna, it's gonna miss you. It's gonna, it has that relationship. Dogs have more relationship than you than cats do. I don't want a dog to sit by my grave. I'd want it to go and, and find someone else that's gonna love it. Which it will, but. But like, it should go on and and enjoy its. I life don't know that that loyalty is just like, you know, it's like. And you know he's there for opinions. you no matter what. It is what it is. Different opinions. You know? But uh, uh, that's going to wrap up though. our first segment, guys. Um, so with that being said, Kicking did, did you want to stay on, Jesse? Yeah, I can. For the se- okay. No, I don't want to. As long as... Uh, Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so who's... You're hopping off, Kelly? Yeah. Okay. Jake's going to sit there. Jake knows how to, move, to use the board and everything. If y'all have any mm-hmm. problems, just come get me. Jake's got it. We'll be right back, guys. We're going to get Jake <laughs> here. We're going to get Sam, Sam here. And I'm probably going to dip up out of here, so much love. Reagan, cats are so gross. I disagree, but I do like dogs. All right, Jake. Saw you, homie. Hey, no one asked to see you. (laughs) Hi, Travis. Reagan is correct. Cats are gross. I agree. All right. Is he good? 
getting stronger? Or is that just me? It's still there. All right. Let's see here. Let's get this. Oh, my hair looks good, bro. Look at my hair. Oh, that's the wrong one. All right, get your game ready. Oh, no. You aren't prepared. Look at my hair. You aren't prepared. Bro. No one cares about what your hair looks like. I have to log in first. You're ginger. Okay, let's see. All right, how are you? Uh, how are you, Jake? I'm all right. I didn't ask. Whoa. Thanks. Can you about you, Sam? I'm good. That's how are good. you? Good. I'm okay. ASMR while Jake's getting his stuff ready. Yeah, do some ASMR with Travis' hair on the. Oh, okay. That's enough. Of it. <laughs> Yeah. No, they don't so don't disrespect Guy Caton. Wait, hand me one of the stickers. <laughs> that was good. I gotta verify my um. Oh, my girlfriend. My girlfriend says that she doesn't uh, appreciate the cat comment. Sorry, it's just dogs are better. Your cats That's aren't just gross. How it is. Your cats aren't gross. Your cats aren't gross, Emily. I'm. I apologize. Some cats aren't gross. <laughs> should I tell my boyfriend to watch since everyone's watching? Yeah, my girlfriend's watching. You should definitely. Um, okay. not now. Okay. Let's see if Jordan likes her. No. Screen. They're just all gonna be. Get off. Couple stream. In the comments. No thanks. Get off. All right, buddy. You gonna hurry up? It's making me set up everything right now. I wanna go watch the new Trolls movie. Dude. It's been all over my TikTok. The movie's about Jake. It is. Yeah. Whoa, Jake. Bro, it, it makes, looks like him. me sign in again, dude. All right, y'all talk about something important. Um, what are you, what are you guys' feelings on the Eiffel Tower? It's big. I'm actually gonna see it. Whoa! What? No okay, way. Sam, we get it. No. Uh, we get it. <laughs> um, what about <clears throat> the Leaning Tower of Pisa? Of pizza. I'm actually gonna see that too. Oh my gosh! <laughs> what about the Colosseum? <laughs> Did you sing that You're too? I'm gonna see that too. You're gonna see Mount Rushmore? No. She's actually You're gonna, gonna see, see, see the pyramids too. of Egypt too? No. Okay. I wanna see those. Next year. Really? Yeah. Wow. <clears throat> We're gonna go on a cruise. And Did you know that the base of the pyramids the base? is 432 cubits and from the middle to the point is 432 cubits? Did you know that? Wow. Fun fact, Regan. Cool. <clears throat> About the number 432. Okay, I wish there was a way to show everybody this there is you have to go to streamlabs and click and select no, the tab him oh you might oh. just have to come look just let's get over, over. Just uh, let's see add a source um browser source add look at shit Look, web, web with people, right there. Uh, uh. <laughs> do web with no people. Whoa. Okay, it should just be like. Oh. Okay, that works. That works. Right, well, let's just see if it works. Let me pull up the stream. Yo, what is that noise? Is that you? Do you hear it too? Who's doing that? Reconnect. Hey, that didn't happen until you came in here. Dude, I'm not signed in oh. as... Oh. <laughs> Dude, are you kidding me right now? Come on, Jake. Bro. Jake. It's just making me... This always think. happens. On my last podcast... What's that noise? Do you... Cancel. Slideshow. It's, it's still there. What are you guys' feelings on the Eiffel Tower? It's big. I'm actually going to see it. Come on. Hello? <laughs> is, that, is that louder? Too loud? Okay. So it should be up. So y'all can watch on the stream right here. Oh, oh okay. Okay. Ten seconds? Yeah, dude. Ten Do you have a timer? Seconds. Do you have a timer? Uh no, not on my phone. It's over there. Can you all, can you all see it? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I can just mm -hmm. do this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's good. Oh, then I'll... Can't even see us right now. 
That doesn't even matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Okay. So, this game is a movie poster game where you have to guess the movie based on the poster with no title on it. So, okay. there's, I don't remember how many exactly there are on there, but um, there are definitely a few. And there's a few bonus ones. So, right. you'll get one point. Make sure you just keep track of your points. We don't need uh, whiteboards or anything. It's not really that in depth. Do you hear that noise too? Do you hear it? It's like music. It's like, yeah, that's weird. I don't know. Just will ignore it. Um, well, yeah, you will have 10 seconds to guess the correct name and. Um, actually, I don't know any of the directors for any of these movies. So if you name one actor from the movie, you okay. get two points. Okay. But if you don't, then you just right. get one point if you guess the name right. And it's going to be the first person that guesses the name right. Gets the point. What if you can guess the year? That too, but I'll have to look up each year. So <laughs> that, okay, let's do let's do an actor. Okay, let us begin. Right, do a countdown. Do a countdown. Like three, right. two, one. I'm gonna get the timer ready. Three, two, one, go. Drawn legacy. That's a point for um, for uh, I don't know that Brandon here. There. There's still this one is, more point that can be earned. Yeah, I don't remember anybody that's in this movie. Well, oh, anyways, this is Tron Legacy. It's a Disney movie. It's pretty good. I've never seen it. Uh, either. Jeff. Uh, it says it in the bottom. I, so I got two points. Jeff Bridges. Oh yeah, Jeff Bridges is in the in this movie. I, I got two it. points. No, that doesn't count. Right, Dude, you fine, cheated, whatever, bro. Whatever. Okay, Brandon, you got one point. That came out in 2010. It says on oh, the really? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Next one. Three, two, one, go. The thing. Renan is correct. Let's Renan go. Two points. I don't know. <laughs> it's the thing. It's uh, like... You've never seen it's it. It's like a staple in practical effects horror movies. Mm-hmm. It's very... Gross. Is that what you I showed us? all the clip yeah, okay, the other day that's nasty. of the gross. guy's hands getting eaten off, and then the thing happened like, and they caught it on fire. Anyways, but this one has uh, like Kurt Russell in it. Kurt, mm. the goat, one of the goats. Okay. Um. The next one, three, two, one, go. Terminator. Terminator. Sam got Arnold the point. Schwarzenegger. Oh. Oh, I got one point. Oh, I got one. Sam point. got a point. Randy got a point. Let's go. I forgot that was a thing. <laughs> <laughs> you can name another actor. I don't know any other actors that are in uh, it. You can't look at the bottom. Michael. It's too late. No, no, no it's too late. <laughs> <laughs> if we do names, you gotta you gotta mark off the words. We should do year. I mean, mm, uh, yeah. can't change rules. Whatever. Anyway, well, you without can't really looking at the bottom, not all of them had like super good text like that. Anyways, okay, three. Two, one, go. Uh, this is a good one. John David Washington. That doesn't count. You read it. <laughs> Christopher Nolan. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I don't know. That was the 10 seconds. Well, I don't know. What is that? That was Tenet. Oh, I've never, I've never heard, heard of it. It's sort of a recent movie. It was, didn't do very good in the box office, but it's, it's also super confusing. It's like the same, uh, almost as confusing as, no, it's more confusing than it's, uh, Inception. I, I'm com- I don't know if anything can be more confusing than what you just said. Yeah. Okay. It's <laughs> this tenet is more confusing than Inception because it's like there's like I like Inception. Normal time, but then there's a way to reverse time, but you're still you reverse time. So okay. Okay. It's so okay. Hard to well, 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 you should just watch the movie. <laughs> let me let me explain it though. Okay. So there's a normal time period, but you can reverse time. And once you reverse time, if you're in that dimension normally, you'll be experiencing time normally, but the person that's in the reverse time is going backwards all the time. Mm. Like they drive their car backwards to go forwards, walk backwards to go forwards, okay. breathe backwards to breathe <laughs> forwards. Like that's a little thing. They have to have they have to have normal air to breathe in the backwards world. Dang. Yeah, it's, it's pretty confusing. It was also cool. something that you have to watch multiple times to get. That's kind of cool. All right. Here's the next one. In three, two, one, go. Akira. Randon got that one, yeah. 
I feel like I was the only one that would know that one. Red is getting all of them. <laughs> I I didn't, I, that's an anime movie. Obviously, yeah. I wouldn't get that one. I have still haven't watched the whole thing. It also thing. says the name right there. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> that came out in 2001? Yeah. I thought it was 1980-something. Or no, it was the 80s. Yeah, it was the 80s. Okay, just like here, 2001. I think it was just a redo of the mm. movie poster. Let's check the... Oh, girl, let me care, and that's about it. Let's check the chat here. Nothing new. Well, Reagan, Emily. Who's it? Oh, is that? That's my girlfriend. The goat. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> but that's in my world. I'm sure Reagan's your goat. Reagan's my goat. Okay. The next one. Do y'all have any comments? Y'all seem very quiet. This is also no, really bad. I've never seen it. I don't know I've anything never seen about it either. Oh, wait, about anything so far. Should, I should have put different know. movies in here that are like more <laughs> famous, more girly. <laughs> Like uh, like Barbie. Pretty sure that would get that one. Uh, yeah, for sure. Some was it Wallflower? What is it? What is that? The perks of being a Wallflower or something oh, like that. Well, you know, okay. Well, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay, we'll do the next one. All right, three, two, one, go. The Matrix, bro. You gotta slow yeah, down, Reeves. dude. Yeah, Randy. <laughs> yeah, okay. Another point for Sam and one point for Randy. Oh, five, she got two. Sorry, Jesse. Um, I'm sorry. getting Come left on. in the dust over I'm here. Sorry. Okay. You can say the other one up there. Oh, Lawrence Fishburne. There's actually a movie. Wait, Keanu Reeves is in this? <laughs> There's a movie based off of the Abilene High football team, and Lawrence Fishburne's son is in it. But apparently, that was one of the worst. Uh, rated movies of, of all time. No, yeah, not surprised. It's Abilene. Abilene. Yeah. And you. Yeah, I know. I wasn't. I didn't go to that high school though. I went to the better I high mean, school. You still were from Abilene, so you're connected. So Abilene. You're, you're the reason why weird. they have a bad rating. Oh really? Yeah. I'm not surprised. All right, next, let's go. All right. Get another point. The next one. Yeah, let's Five, four, three, two, one. Independence Day. Yep. Someone. Um, there's um, a really Will famous act. Yeah. Okay. Seven. Come on. Dude, come on. I don't know any. I don't know any. I've never seen any You've never seen him in Independence Day? Yeah, when I was like four. Oh, my God. These are just... Oh, mainly these are mostly sci-fi movies. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I don't watch like that. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> there should, you should be able to guess some of them, though. All right. Here comes the next one. Five, four, three, two, and one. The Hulk. Hulk. Okay, no, I'm giving it to them. <laughs> Tim Roth. Yes, <laughs> that's two points for Tim. Sam, and Tim, I'll, I'll give it. I'll give one to Jesse because y'all did it at the same time. Yeah. So, and Randon, you get zero points because you I'm are a giving, failure. I can give them two thousand eight. No, I'm in charge this of the is, points here. All right, fine. Is whatever. that an eight or not? Two thousand eight. That's two thousand eight. Yeah. Okay, next one. Five, four, three, two, and one. Come on, Jake Gyllenhaal. That's one point. <laughs> Hey, you're cheating. It says it. <laughs> Mary McDonald. <laughs> okay. Y'all didn't Patrick get it. Patrick Swayze. I'll just. What is that? That's Donnie Darko. Never What's heard I've of that. I've never heard of that. Oh. Oh. It's Donnie Darko. It's got Dude, no uh, one looks Jake at your Gyllenhaal. legs. It's got Jake Gyllenhaal. No it's one about, looks at your it's about time, legs. time travel and dimensions and fate. and. You like Halloween. time travel, don't you? Because that's the second movie about time travel. No, ten isn't about time travel. But you said you go back in time. You, you don't go back you in time. You just reverse. exist in another dimension that's going backwards. Oh. What? Technically, that's time travel, though, right? Because you're traveling backwards in time. No. But technically, right now we're traveling forwards in time. So, but we're not okay. thinking about it. Whatever, dude. <laughs> so I'm right. I'm right. All right. Three, two, one. That's a good one. Twenty twelve. No. Oh, I don't know. Eight. Nine, oh. ten. Is that something, Jesse? I said I don't know. Oh, SMH. That is Cloverfield. Uh, I've never heard of never it. Never heard of it. What? What's it about? There's been three Cloverfield movies, <laughs> and each of them have a different name. Mm -mm. There's Cloverfield, which is this one, which is just like an alien movie about aliens that came down and just like killed a ton of people. And then there's uh, Ten Cloverfield Lane. I haven't actually seen that one. That sounds like some. Sound like that sounds like a, a plug getting unplugged or something. Anyways, um, and then there's the Chlorophyll paradox, which is about a particle collider in space that did something and then made a whole bunch of weird things happen. 
Were they good movies? Yeah, Cloverfield was good, and then Cloverfield Paradox is good. I just haven't seen 10 Cloverfield Lane. I've just seen clips of it. It's got a... Mm. Dang, I always forget his name. The guy that plays Sully from Monsters, Inc. That guy. I forget his name every single time. Oh, the monster? Yeah. It's a monster. It's not a human. Okay, sorry. I'll stop. Whatever, bro. Who's next? Okay. Next one. Three, two, one. Uh, Back to the Future. Two? Um, what's his name? Oh, gosh. Michael J. <laughs> Michael J. Fox. <laughs> that's right. Michael J. Fox. <laughs> okay. That's one point for Rand and one point for Jesse. Sorry, Sam. I think... Leah Thompson. <laughs> <laughs> it's for Lloyd. Okay, 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 okay. Michael J. Fox. Here comes the next one, I think. Also, there's going to be a slide that's not a movie. So oh. it could be this next one. Okay. But it's also not something you guess. It's just more rules for the next round. It's okay. lightning round. Okay. Three, two, one. Alien? Bing! Uh, you got it right. There's no names Al- we can oh, read. Oh, alien? <laughs> yeah, alien. There's no names we can read. So. Alien. It's got... Um, Was it about aliens? Uh, what's her? I forget. I'm not good with names. It's got a pretty famous... pretty A lot of famous actors in it. Do you know any actors on here? No. Tom Cruise? <laughs> no. Tom Cruise is not in this movie. Anyways, the next one. Three, two, one. Okay, this oh. is not the next one. <laughs> lightning round. All right, this is the lightning round, which that means you'll have five seconds to guess these Christmas movies. Okay. Which we might do better. should be better. These okay. will be worth double points. Okay. So, so far, Randon's in the lead, and then I, eight Sam's points. next. Eight points. And then Jesse. Yeah. I don't know how many points y'all have. I don't have. know either. Maybe I think either. you have like four. You have like four. You have like three. Like we'll, two, just say, we'll just say eight, four, three. three. Okay. Uh-huh. So this is definitely, I don't know how many, I forgot how many I put in here. Hopefully it's enough for somebody to come back and win. Because I don't want to win. No, no. I'm winning. Okay. Five, four, three, two, uh, one. Elf. 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 <laughs> that was me. That was me. Fine, whatever. It's Will a, Ferrell. You're the, you're the judge. Will Ferrell. <laughs> that, was, that was way longer than five seconds. You, you she said the now? name. She said the name. <laughs> what? She said the name. But that's well longer than five seconds. Four points. You said five seconds. We can't get a point. Oh, yeah, you're, right, five you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. So that's just... We'll just give you one point. Uh, <laughs> okay, next. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> just like his name is a big bold. <laughs> Why did it take you that long to guess that and his name's right there? <laughs> you don't even have to I guess that. I didn't think about that. saying it. I didn't think about saying it. Okay, the next one. Ready? Come on, y'all. Uh, 40 go. Stories of Sheer Adventure. No. Oh, no. I don't know this Bruce one. Willis. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> We're getting a little time extension because she always has it. Okay. It's all you, Sam. I forgot the name. You only said Bruce Willis because it's right there. <laughs> it's Die Hard. Yeah, that's, what I was That's a Christmas movie? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I didn't People know that. People argue that. Good movie. I actually haven't seen it. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> never seen it. Yeah. I mean, I always want to watch it, but I just never, I always forget. So, uh, we'll give, should we give Sam a point? No. What? It says Bruce Willis. No, I'm just kidding. Whatever, fine. You deserve a point. Yeah. Not Sam, though. Don't give. I mean, I mean, Jesse, Jesse. Okay, we'll give, we'll give, we'll give Sam a point. Okay. Three, two, and one. Polar, Polar Express. Sp- Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks. <laughs> oh, <laughs> double points and double ends. So that's four cheating. points. Y'all are cheating. That's four points for. I think Jesse's in second place now. Y'all are Is cheating. Seven. Okay, I'll come back. I've been waiting for Home Alone. Oh, you just Is got that Alone answer ready. Yeah. Okay, ready. So do I. Three, two, one, <clears throat> go. Home Alone. Home Alone. What else? Macaulay Culkin. Yep. Right. What? Macaulay I'll give everybody one point for that, and then uh, Sam an extra two points because she got the actor right. Within nine. the time. I have nine. Yay. How many points do you have? Nine. I have eight. nine. Ooh. I don't know if yeah, this I is the last lose. one. I can't lose. I can't lose. All right. Three, two, one. What, what in the world is that? <laughs> this is, y'all know this one. Y'all know this one. What in the world is that? I'll give y'all extra time. What is that? This is like... 
The Nightmare Before Christmas? Scary. It's a that scary Christmas like movie. Where the Wild Things Are. No. That's <laughs> a little <laughs> scary. Where the Wild Things Are. Okay, give us a hint. Starts with a K. <laughs> and rhymes, rhymes with... Uh, 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 I know it, bro. I know it. Do you, though? Uh, um... Come on. It's right there, bro. It's right C-R. there. C-R. Crumpus? No. Krampus. Krampus. It's Krampus. I think that's the last one. Let me check. Three, two, one. Yeah, okay. That was the last one. Uh, What was it? You got nine eight. points? Yes! I think both of y'all got eight. Right? Something like that? Yeah. It was right there. It was right there. We could have made that, a comeback. I, y'all could have, yeah. If y'all would have guessed this, y'all could have won. Beat what Random. I've never seen that. I haven't either, I but have, it's just like a... I've never even heard of it. You've never either? heard of Krampus? Mm-mm. I've heard of the name Krampus. I think... I don't know if it's actually that good of a movie, to be honest. Probably not. I just thought... I just see this, like, image right here. And you're And I think I just think... Yeah, that too. I think I, think I just think <laughs> Krampus. <laughs> okay, well, that concludes our game segment. Is there a question of the week? Yeah, there is, but I don't know what it is. Because I did not look. Hold on. I'll go ask Travis. Hi, Kason. Oh, here. Hey, Travis. What was the question of the week? Tarleton State University, ROTC. Is your boyfriend watching? I don't know. Oh, I said, get, I said, watch the live. He said, I can't. Dang. Uh, Why? He's so lame. You answer oh. when you answer. Guy Caden's album's in the way. What is your favorite cereal? Favorite cereal? Fruity Pebbles. <laughs> Special K. Ugh. What? <laughs> It's your favorite? Yeah. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. The strawberries? That's so good. fire. I love Cinnamon, cinnamon Toast, Toast Crunch. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Captain Crunch that's in the mouth. That's my second favorite. Yeah, that's good. I think Bye, this Travis. is a very debatable, very, very, very debatable question here. Pretty pebbles. What's your favorite cereal? If it's not Cinnamon Toast Crunch, you're wrong. Uh, that's I my think dad. Honestly, that isn't... Oh, that's random. I, I did know who it was. I just forgot the name. Yeah, come dad, on, dude. Dad. Um, well, what's the fa- What's your favorite cereal? I've got a lot. I'm I eat a lot of cereal. Guys, it's gotta be one. It's probably the cookie. The cookie one. The cookie? <laughs> no, I don't like the. I don't like Cookie Crisp. Okay, fine. I mean, I do, but it's not. It's not one of the best. That's kind of a gimmicky cereal, to be honest. All right. In my opinion, I'm gonna say that about your favorite cereal then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yours is Cookie so Crisp. <laughs> no, I like, I like Cookie Crisp and Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Um, I think my, we have six viewers right now. Let's, that's the most we've ever six? had. I think that's the most we've ever had. <laughs> I think had. we know why. Because yeah. I'm leaving. They all want to come uh, see me. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That probably is right. Um, <laughs> I would guess probably, no, I wouldn't guess. I'd know my favorite cereal. Probably the most I've ever eaten. Bro. You're punished for I'm not punished. knowing that. I'm punished. <laughs> I'm punished. <laughs> okay, my favorite cereal is probably... Either f- it's so <sighs> difficult. You must like cereal. I do like cereal, cereal a lot. Guy? How many cere- how many boxes cere- cereal how many different guy. boxes of cereal do you have in your bowl? Right now I have three. Okay. Three? That's impressive. Are they all different? Yeah. What do you have milk? Honey nut Cheerios, mm-hmm. Rice Krispies, and uh Golden Grams are my three right now. Ooh. Really? I feel like, I feel like you would like something a little bit more sweeter. <laughs> I like fruity pebbles. A lot. Fruity Pebbles are fire. There's I feel like it's my favorite. I feel like no. it's either up to Fruity Pebbles or Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I like Cocoa Pebbles. Each different color is the same flavor. Yeah. There's no different flavors. Same thing. Well, apparently it's the same thing with Skittles. But I, I refuse I don't, to I don't that. believe that was Skittles. Emily said Cocoa Pebbles, Rice Krispies with sugar, Crave, or Special K with strawberries. You can only pick one. So that's special not going to work. You can, you can pick three. You can pick three. So Why that three. emoji also? That's the wrong. Are you emoji hating on her emoji use? Sorry. Wow. Wow. And cereals. Facts. What no, I'm not hating on her cereal choices. Dude, I'm you're just hating on everything now. One. Come on, Jake. <laughs> Dude. I don't think you attacked? can be a, ho- a, a host. <laughs> she says she likes everything, which is Okay, that's fine. That's fine. It's kind of hard to limit down to one cereal when you have literally a whole entire aisle of options. 
No, literally, it was a whole aisle. They're like, just straight cereal. cereal. Dude, why don't they put the milk next to the cereal? Because milk isn't only the, used for cereal. They put the milk in the back, so that way they you put have the to milk. walk all the way and come all the they way They put back. the milk with they all should the put dairy. the sweet stuff in the back, so you have to walk all the way down to sweet stuff. But it just depends on where you get it from. No, they put the sweet stuff in the front, so you grab it. And leave, exactly. That's, that's how they get you. I think, um... Do y'all like hot cereal or cold cereal? So like hot cereal. Hot cereal. Hot cereal. cereal. Who are you talking hot about like oat, oatmeal, like grits, that type of stuff? That's not that is cereal. Not that's, cereal. cereal. That's, that's cereal. No, it's, it's not. not. Yeah, it is. Oatmeal. That's, that's more like. That's more like. Oatmeal. A, I'll look it up for you. That's more like a. I'll soup. look it up for you. It's, it's more like a bowl of it's soup. Hot moist oats. Cereal. That's all it is. Hot cereal. It's just wet oats. With some other. What are examples of hot cereals? Oatmeal. Mm-mm. That's not cereal. Mm-mm. <laughs> Mm-mm. That's this like is a, another one. Of that, that community that thinks hot cereals oatmeal. That's like a cult. Nuh uh That is literally you're wrong. Cocoa Pebbles are top. Yeah, those are really good. I just don't really eat them. I don't really like the chocolate cereals that much, to be honest. Just like I feel like chocolate cereal is not the same as regular chocolate. Anything that's flavored chocolate is not like regular chocolate. What? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I was just joking. Yeah. It's 2.31. Are we done? I don't know. Are we? I don't know how long this is normally supposed to last. I have a watch. Oh, it's 2.31. I think it's time. It's time. Is it time? What, do I just press this and then click that? Um, First, you got to do an outro. You got to be like, what's up, guys? All right, chat. (laughs) Bye, chat. Clip it. This is going to be the conclusion (laughs) of cruising episode... 140 something. Uh, what is the name of this one called? Randon's last episode. That's the name of this one. No, I'm just kidding. The I'm, Legacy Drive. The <laughs> Legacy Drive. The Legend. Okay, and with Legends that. Never Die. That's what it is. I'm just kidding. Yeah, we can leave it as Legends Never Die by <laughs> Randon Gidry. <laughs> okay, anyway, no, I'm just kidding. Um, well, Ooh, that has a we're not gonna, yellow name. I don't think. Wrap it up, cause yeah, yeah, let yeah, the yeah, live yeah. stream run though. Don't yeah, 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 I wasn't just going like, to. like, that song play. Bye, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. Bye. Bye. Bye.